So it's 1.15 a.m. It is Monday. No, it is not the year of 1.15. But if it is in some parallel universe, cool. What's up? Anyway. <sighs> I have a writing update for Threads, A Dragon Saga Story, Excerpt 4. Yeah, that motherfucker. I have not touched this thing in two years. But tonight, something in me said, read it. And try to write. So, I tried to write. Got a half hour done and quit. Yeah. I don't know. Just burned out, I guess. So, I started this at midnight. I actually started reading it. Uh, around 2,200 hours and stopped at about 2,300. Because I was going to read it start to finish, and then I was like, nah. Let me jump to this part, because I really want to read it. So, I uh, picked up after I got done reading the whole thing. <sighs> so, a short 30 minutes. Uh, just a paragraph to session, not proud of it, nor am I wowed by it. Uh, <sighs> it just feels weird sinking into 20-year-old Anastasia since the last time I worked with her was back in 2020. One. Yeah. And I say sinking into 20 year old Anastasia because it's a different mindset to work with versus Eve or Lucius or Trixie or anyone else in the Dragon Saga. It's just different because she's so. She's one of the voices I never really. Well, I mean, I flow well with her. I really do. We flow well together. But I haven't sunk into that in two years. So getting reacquainted is a process. Uh, the words flowed right, and we both agreed on ice blue lighting to write. Yeah. Because I love this fucking remote. So we worked with. What was it? This, this button. That one. Beautiful. It looks like it's green on here, but it's actually ice blue. So. Yeah, fuck. There we go. So, yeah, we rolled with that. And it was nice. It was comfortable. When I was writing Eve's excerpt for the Dark Side ending, we rolled with yellow. And that worked out well, because that was her color. So, yeah. It's not weird writing from a woman's point of view. It's the mindset of her I gotta work with. Because she. this is after confronting... This is after everything that unfolded on Jaga. And coming home from that. And also, you know, revealing an intimate side of her through paintings. So, it's interesting. Uh, plus, finding that cohesive rhythm in writing is extra tricky. Oh, yes. Super tricky. Because if you can't find that cohesion, you might as well just fucking give up. The other tricky part is that this is the end of Thread's story, so there's a few pieces to add in before saying it's done. I could have it done in, th in a whole paragraph. It's three fucking things. Anastasia's feedback on her paintings, what happened with DMAS the past year, and Lucius drawing up temple plans. Simple shit, right? But with me, <laughs> no, I'm detail-oriented. Ooh. The biggest part is that the epilogue's done, so I don't gotta fuck with that. Yeah, I got that epilogue done years ago, so finished. Uh, I guess I feel whelmed by what I turned out. Yeah. Anyway, I'm up to 73 pages typed with 40,698 words. I think I had 40,578 before I started typing, but I don't know. <laughs> so... That's where I'm at with that story. Uh, no idea when I'll finish it. I have tons of excerpts I've started and stopped. That's how I roll with this whole saga because it's machete order I'm writing, which is a lot of fun. It helps. Versus sitting here like, oh, I'll remember that in 10 years. <laughs> I'll remember it tomorrow. Of course I'll remember tomorrow and tomorrow... What was the thing I was talking about? <laughs> Fuck. So, yeah. So much to work with. So much I don't feel like doing. Oh, God.
So, mm, man, I'm tired. So I'm gonna upload this. I'm gonna go watch something. Don't know what. Find something to pass out to. Maybe go work out today. Let's see. So, <sighs> till next time. Like and subscribe for thoughts and prayers.